What is up everybody? This is Lyle, No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. Coming at you from Ofala, Alabama, I believe that's the way you pronounce it. Things kind of changed from my last load. I was supposed to be taking a load up to Shelbyville, Indiana, but uh, my fleet manager put me on a load going down to uh, Opelika, Alabama. Paid a little bit more. Nice load and said, Lyle. And on top of it, I got you backed up with a load from Ofala, Alabama, up to Carlisle, Pennsylvania. And that's going to pay about two G's. I was like, all right, I'm in. Needs to get rammed pretty hard. Well, I'm sitting out here in the middle of nowhere. They say they don't have the load or any load going to Carlisle, Pennsylvania or Pennsylvania at all. And uh, they don't open back up till Monday. So I heard the dreaded words that you never want to hear. Let me get with sales. So I guess we'll see. You know, this really puts me in a really fucked up situation is what it puts me in. I mean, there's plenty of places to park in Alabama in the cut. But I mean, how? you know, that's like the last case scenario. You don't want to be parking in some of these places. And listen, it's an absolute necessity, which, you know, I mean, who knows what they're going to come up with. But I just hate being put in these situations and... Like I said, if you plan on getting into trucking, it's just these little things right here. And like I said, I'm not even mad about it. It just irritates the absolute shit out of me. That... You know, maybe it's not even what happened. Like... It's not that the load got canceled, or it's not... Even the fact that it's just an inconvenient situation. It's just the matter of factness that uh, we get dealt with sometimes out here you know what I'm saying well this weather looks like it's about to get real bad up in here so anyway I guess we'll see I don't know there's no there's no real truck stops anywhere near here and everything that is near here looking at uh, trucker path is saying that it's all full I did see some places in the cut like I said not always going to be the first option but uh, that's life I guess anyway Might just have them bring, bring me back to Springfield. I'm getting a little tired anyway. You know, a little wore out. Oh, and it's the Highway Diamond thing. So, you know, if there's less people working on weekends anyway. Well, I don't know if anybody in sales is going to the Highway Diamond thing. Or is there going to be anybody there in sales at all? I don't know. Anyway. We will get through this, but these are the type of things that you have to deal with. And these are the type of things, like I said, it's not necessarily that I'm having to deal with it. It's just I don't know. I mean, I know some of these fleet managers. I don't know about sales. I know some of these guys used to be drivers and stuff like that. Maybe a little refresher course would be a good thing like you know what pack your shit up get on this motherfucking truck and let's go out for a good strong month you know instead of and like i said this is not my dispatcher and i don't know if it'll be any different if it was but you know what get them dispatchers pack your shit up head out on this truck 
and uh, we'll we'll get it in for a month so you know you can uh, see how these little things that don't seem to be little or some of these things that we think are issues which don't seem like you know big issues are big issues but anyway I'm about to just come back here and relax and wait this out these fine people here at least allow me to sit while I wait to see what's going on with this load so thanks for stopping by no hippie truck and transportation I appreciate it comment subscribe and I'm out